Hey guys, thanks for joining me, and if you like what you see, please subscribe. Hello, peoples! Welcome to Sharp Ends. So, do you know what Timu is? Timu is like a third-rate answer for China to Amazon. It is a site where you get things basically directly from their manufacturers without having to go through the middleman, I think. I'm not sure. Um, anyway, I've gotten some knives from them in the past and done some reviews, uh, and they were funny, and I think they were great, and so I'm going to do a little unboxing for you. I got a couple of things from them. Two of the things I actually got might be useful, and ironically, they're the most expensive. They're more expensive than knives. The first one that I got that might be useful is more expensive than knives is this tool rack. I don't know if you can see, but you can slide your screw guns and stuff onto this. So that is useful. Most expensive thing I bought coming in at $13.38. So I am a high spender. Okay, that, that's a special treat for the end right there. I know what that is. And then I got three knives and a fire steel. Um, all right, what should I do first? Let's go, let's go ahead and open up this fire steel first. You can already tell this is going to be something special over here. All right. So, you know, fire steels cost money because ferro rods are not cheap. I thought, I thought they weren't cheap. I don't know. They seem pretty expensive. This costs $3.50 on Timu. So I was just making fun of them, but does this work? Who knows? Let's see if I have a fixed blade around where I can test it. Uh, yeah, I got a Genesis from LT, right? They throw the best sparks. Uh, LT right throw the best sparks because they have a sharpened spine up here. Uh, let's let's see if it does it. Well, oh yeah, hey, three dollars and fifty cents for a steel. That is absolutely acceptable. Probably one of the few things I would recommend you get from Timu. Um, so yeah. Uh, by the way, Timu takes forever to get to your doorstep. Uh, I think that's. Um, I think that they came in at uh, at like uh, 10 days, two weeks, which is not really forever. But, you know, in today's modern day of uh, give me now, give it to me now kind of thing. By the way, I'm opening this with my grail knife here that I just got, the Monterey Bay Knives uh, Sea Otter, uh, which I absolutely, absolutely love. Uh, but, yeah, so I think it's kind of ironic that I'm opening these these guys up. All right, let's uh, let's go, let's open this up next. All right, this was called, I think, the High Hardness Full Wood Steel Outdoor Knife. Um, how do you open it? Is it an automatic? So you can see right here, it's got something to cut cords. And uh, this isn't an actual glass breaker, but it's supposed to look like one. Oh, Jesus. How do you open this? Oh, my God. Oh, it's uh, it's a slip joint. It's just a slip joint that doesn't work really well, and it's got and it's got thumb studs. Really? Okay, this boy with definitely authentic carbon fiber here. In fact, it didn't. The paint job didn't scratch off of it there at all. That's that's absolutely an illusion. This is real carbon fiber. I'm absolutely positive of it. And look, I'll just look at the fine machining here between the carbon fiber and the wood. I mean, just so exact. Um, yeah, and this clip, and clip actually isn't that bad. How sharp are we? You know, so the last one knife that I had of these, I did a review of it, and uh, I was, I mean, it was shockingly unsharp, and you can, you can check out this review that I did of this guy. I did a full-on review of this guy, okay? Um, and uh, it comes with this nice little man purse here with a, like a lanyard. Anyway, and, and of course, I, I should always point out whenever I talk about this knife, I like to point out, this is real M390 that came in at $5. Um, but anyway, yeah, so let's see how sharp this actually is. I am kinda, you know, th this is just a slip joint. You can see back here, it's lifting up and it's just a slip joint. So why even bother putting, uh, you're not going to flick that open, but that's the only way you can grab. You'd, you'd rather have a, a nail nick here down farther down the, the, the blade in order to open it. That would make more sense. However, having said that, at least I know the lock isn't going to fail on me because the design of the lock isn't meant to really hold it. It's just supposed to hold the blade in place. 
Um, the champion on the back of this actually isn't that bad. The ergos are horrible. Absolutely horrible, especially with the tip up carry like right there. I mean, just like having the clip there is horrible. The, the, this clip just needs to come off. Like if I was actually going to carry this, the, the, the clip would not be a part of my carry. Um, all right, let, let, let's test and see how sharp or unsharp this came. Um, excuse me. Hey, for how much did this cost? Six sixty-eight, dude. It's actually cutting paper. That is stand out. Absolutely stand out. This guy here did not cut paper the last time I got it. Although I must have sharpened it. I think I must have. Yeah, I probably put that. I probably dropped that. Uh, this is definitely not three ninety. Uh, this doesn't have a blade steel on it, but it just says high hardness carbon steel. And then it said real wood handles, which I guess that probably is technically wood. Uh, I don't think that the carbon fiber counts as carbon fiber because it's scratched immediately. Uh, this doesn't feel like it would be bad if this horrible clip was taken off. There's no way of reversing it either. So this is just going to be a weight in your pocket. However, I'm pleasantly surprised. Uh, now the jimping back here all the way at the tail end, that is definitely a designed in America type thing. You don't need any jimping there. That does, I mean, what are you, what are you doing? How are you using that jimping? You need jimping back here. And why have a thumb stud when this isn't a liner lock or anything? Like, that's just ridiculous. And this is obviously not a glass breaker. Is this thing down in here actually sharp enough to cut strapping? <sighs> Call me skeptical. Call me skeptical. But it is 6668. So 668. So there you go. Yeah, I think this will have to be a, a knife giveaway. I think someone is going to be really lucky with this guy. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Uh, so that's uh, two knives up. Two, two knives up, two knives down. All right, what's, uh, what's this guy? That wasn't two knives. Oh, I know what this is. So this is like a Leatherman tool, and it... Uh, Second most costly thing I got. Um, third most costly thing I got. Eleven dollars. Eleven dollars for this uh, spray painted black. I doubt this is DLC or anything like that. Multi tool. Um, wow, look at that wire cutter. I've never seen a wire cutter designed that poorly. And look, they don't even they don't even meet by like. I guess it's a wire stripper then. And then that's the wire cutter down here. But this is only going to strip something like, what would that be? Like 08 or 06 gauge wire? That is insane. And then it's got this Leatherman type sliding thing right here. Uh, and it will snap out. That's pretty cool. Um, okay. So that's an option. And it locks too. Now I've got like a, a pike and I'm going to stab you. All right, that's a joke, you YouTube algorithm. I'm not going to stab anyone. Um, what else we got on here? Ooh, we got a blade, serrated, double serrated. Uh, the paint has just been brushed off to give it the appearance of being sharp, but this is actually the dullest thing I've ever felt in my entire life. Um, and then we have a Phillips and a flathead. I think it's a flathead down there. Hard to get out. Uh, I have no idea what that is. Another wire stripper? No idea. All right. And then what else do we have here? On this other side, we have the file and a couple of flatheads. Okay, so this is this is pretty much useless. Um, I do appreciate that they actually have locks on some of this, um, but there's no real blade here. Uh, and the spiky tool at the end, I guess that's a Marlin spike. You know, out, out of all the things that I would say, this is actually probably pretty useful to me in like my boat. Like just having something like that that I can get knots out with. This looks perfect for that. I don't know what else this would be besides a Marlin spike. It's so odd. Um, I'm sure this thing will rust and disintegrate immediately. But as far as its basic plierness goes and the fact that it has a Marlin spike on it, 
I honestly might use it. Um, I can think of a couple of knots right now where that might be useful. Uh, all right, that that is shocking, shocking to me. Uh, this is a piece of crap, but it's an $11 piece of crap that I might actually find a use for, just to be totally clear. All right. And, uh, okay, second to last thing I'm going to open here. This is the Christmas Grinch knife. Corumbit. Made out of all plastic. It's a it's a children's toy. Uh, and this cost me $4.48. I honestly actually thought this was a real knife, but I think it's hilarious that it's a toy knife. That even actually makes it funnier. Oh, that's hilarious. Look at that. That's actually kind of fun to play with. You like you flip it open and get it out and then close it down and it locks. But like imagine giving this corumbit to your kid and being like, I got you. A Grinch-themed Christmas crumbit made out of plastic for you to practice with. What do you think of that, honey? Do, do you like that? I mean, that's pretty cool, right? That is hilarious. Like, <laughs> I'm going to have to give this to my wife. Or I'm going to have to put it in one of my kids' stockings to see what happens. Oh, that's hilarious. Uh, I'm not a crumbit guy. I don't know all the things, but I do know that you need a crumbit that's going to lock if you're going to fling it around your fingers and stuff like that. That doesn't seem good, but I do think this is hilarious. Uh, yeah. I mean, I do have a, a scythe. I have a couple of scythes. Right? Where's one? I have a scythe right here. And, you know, this is a defense weapon. Like, if you're holding this in your hand, uh, you know, you can punch and hit someone and do some damage with this. Not that I would ever say that you should do that. But, um, you know... And then you look at this little toy. That's hilarious. That is hilarious. All right. Um, so that's, uh, let's see. Oh, I've got one more thing, guys. One more thing. And this might be the most practical, best thing that I saw on Timu. And I probably am going to have to highly recommend everyone get one of these for Christmas. This cost $12, people. I don't know if you're ready for this awesomeness. You ready? Oh yeah, baby. It's a chicken lamp with a bulb coming out of its butt. That's right. This thing is ready to go. Let's see if I can get it on. All right, here we come, people. Yeah, baby, look at that. Oh, yeah, how do you like them apples? That is hilarious, dude. That is great. That is awesome. So that's going to be my big Christmas present to my wife, definitely. I'm going to have to wrap that up in, like, 50 different boxes and give that to her as if that's, like, my real present to her or something. Uh, yeah, that's hilarious. So there's my Timo chicken. Um, yeah, all right. Uh, so we came out on top. I think we all came out on top of this $5 Corumbit for a kid's toy. Like, what are they thinking? What, it, what is this? I, I just, and, and it's Grinch themed or Christmas themed. So strange. And then this guy, I, I'm actually slightly surprised at how nice the blade is, but I mean, there's obviously some serious design, design flaws. I just mean that this might actually be some kind of hardened steel that isn't going to rust immediately upon contact with water like you know 30 seconds but not immediately and it actually came slightly sharp um and then i'm also uh i'm also like this is so weird but why did they stick this spike on here and that spike is actually oddly going to be useful to me which is hilarious to me um i know i'm missing something was that it i guess that's it um, so thanks so much for joining me for this silly, um, uh, Timu unboxing. Um, I hope you enjoyed this content, I guess. And, uh, if you'd like to, uh, support this kind of content, <laughs> you can become a Patreon member by following the click below, but I don't suggest it. If you do, however, I'm giving away knives and I can guarantee you that I'm going to be giving away some very high class knives. Uh, actually, I will be giving away some pretty nice knives, uh, but I might be throwing in some of these as an, as a funny joke, uh, as an aside. Uh, in all seriousness, you know, I really appreciate everything you guys do for me. Your likes, your comments, everything like that. Absolutely awesome. Thanks so much, guys. And I'll see you guys next time on Sharp Ends. Bye-bye now.